some Minecrafters, Koala here. In this video, I'll be going over 12 hive changes you missed. The hive has a history of cool April Fool's updates, but due to them only being in the game for 24 hours, many players never get to see them. This year, the April Fool's update was the chair mount, and the year before that was the rock pet. But did you know that one year, the hive changed all of the projectiles to eggs? This is a cool secret update that barely anyone knows about. Hive Plus is one of the most popular hive bundles, as it provides many cool perks, like an XP increase and extra map vote power. And with this, the bundle comes with many cool cosmetics. But did you know that some of these cosmetics will never be available again? This is because on the 23rd of November 2021, the Hive introduced a cosmetics refresh, meaning that the Royal Melon costume, the VIB, OG and the Supporter Hop titles, as well as four animal avatars, will never be purchasable again. When Skywall's kits was first released, the Voidwalker kit used to be so much more overpowered, as those that chose the kit spawned with an Ender Pearl, allowing them to instantly rush the island next to them. I think the Hive realised just how overpowered this feature was, as it was removed just a few days later. Before the Sword of Embers was added to Sky Wars, there was an incredibly broken item called the Fire Sword, which would automatically light players on fire in just one hit. This made it very powerful before the Hive nerfed it. The standard boombox was added to Treasure Wars in one of its early updates, but it was only in the game for 24 hours before it had to be removed due to it being extremely overpowered. This item will most likely never be added to Treasure Wars again, unless the Hive change it to make the item more balanced. Did you know that XP boosters only worked in individual games? When they were first added, they only worked in specific games, such as Treasure Wars. But thankfully, the Hive changed this in 2020, so that boosters were half the price and they worked in all the games. The Knockback Nemo is one of the most powerful items in Sky Wars, but it actually used to be pretty useless. When it was first added, it could easily be countered by crouching, but the Hive updated the item so it provided vertical velocity, launching players into the air as well as throwing them back. In my opinion, the Knockback Nemo is now pretty balanced, but leave your thoughts in the comments below. Now this is quite a secret change that no one knows about, but Enderpels actually used to be in survival games. All the way back in 2020, Enderpels were added to the game, but they were quickly removed. I can't even imagine Enderpels in survival games, as it must have been very broken. Trouble in Mineville was originally going to be the Hive's version of a more complicated murder mystery, but the game was quickly scrapped, as the Hive team thought it would be too complicated for a younger audience, and the simplified murder mystery just seemed like a better concept. I recommend checking out Plushie's video explaining Trouble in Mineville, as the history of the game is actually really interesting. But there is actually a secret reference to Trouble in Mineville on the hide and seek map Chinatown. One of the features that would have been in Trouble in Mineville would have been a traitor tester, as shown in this short clip, and the Hive build team added a secret reference to this in the Chinatown map. When Hive Arcade was first released, Many players struggled to reach the location of one of the golden mailbots, as it was very high up in a tree, and in the next patch update, the Hive moved it to make it more accessible. But, due to some players already collecting the original mailbot, it's actually possible to collect a total of 101 golden mailbots. In the Hive's launch trailer, you can see an animation of the two characters running through a death run map. It's easy to identify most of the traps, apart from one, a piston trap, that has never actually made it into the game. But with the recent death run map update introducing new traps, it is certainly possible that we could get the piston trap in a future update. Anyway, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, remember to like, subscribe and join my Discord server, link in the description. I'll see you all later, goodbye.